So let's take a look at one last example of these types of problems where the problem specification is vague and we have to ask the client clarifying questions. We will do so uh, this time using help from ChatGPT. So here is the problem. As always, if I merely copy paste the given problem specification, which is vague, it's incomplete. Uh, and if we pass this to, let us say, GitHub Copilot, it will suggest some code. But as we have seen several times before, this code is going to make several assumptions. So firstly, let's just read the doc string, which is incomplete, which is vague. And let us try and see if we can recognize some assumptions that the uh, AI generated code is making. So the question says that we have to count the number of substrings of the given string S that lie between A and B. And A and B are two more strings that are given as arguments. So this piece of code we can very quickly see uses pattern two of uh, iteration. It sets up an accumulator variable and you can see that at some point this count will go up by one. Right? So what is it doing is looking at every character in uh, the string s and it is checking if that character is in some sense in between a and b and it has some notion of what in between means captured by this logic if the character is equal to a then this in between logic is true otherwise if the character is equal to b and this in between variable is set to true then the count goes up by one and then this in between gets set to false so this in between variable seems to be like a switch we switch it we initially the switch is off it is false um, if some condition happens that uh, that uh, 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 variable gets set to true and if some else something else happens then the count goes up by one and it gets set to false so it seems to be that there is this string and it appears that what my generative AI has assumed is A and B are individual letters. Now, nobody said to my generative AI that A and B are individual letters. It is guessing this. Perhaps it is guessing it from the fact that the uh, arguments are called A and B. And many times, in many pieces of code, arguments with those names refer to individual letters. We can't be sure, but that appears to be the case here that it's making this guess. So let us say we took this code. Maybe we have no idea if this is correct, but let's uh, trust it, which we should never do, and paste it here. Now, uh, as we have seen, uh, this kind of simple copy-paste is very unlikely to work. Uh, there are some hidden test cases that are running here. And as you can see, uh, all but one of them actually fail. So this style of directly copy pasting uh, the given statement is not going to work. I want us to develop the ability to ask clarifying questions. The big difference is this time we're going to ask ChatGPT uh, to help us in our journey as we're thinking through uh, these clarifying questions. So what I have for you here is a conversation that I have had with ChatGPT. And we'll spend some time looking at how I prompted ChatGPT and then what ChatGPT gave back to me. And as ChatGPT makes suggestions, I will also show you a familiar uh, link on CodeCheck where you can check with the client exactly what the intentions were. So let's take a look at first how I prompted ChatGPT. So I copy pasted all the information that was given to me as far as writing the code is concerned. But before I gave that to ChatGPT and asked it to write the code, I said, the following functions doc string is vague. I know it is vague. I know it is incomplete. I want ChatGPT's help to think about some interesting inputs. So I said, suggest some test inputs. Notice I didn't ask ChatGPT to tell me what is supposed to happen on those inputs. I just said, suggest some test inputs that will clarify how this function should behave. 
I don't know how it should behave. Chat GPT cannot know how this function should behave. Only my client knows how the function should behave. All I'm asking Chat GPT for is some interesting inputs that will help me clarify the expected behavior of this function. And let's take a look at what Chat GPT has produced. It says uh, it has five carefully chosen inputs uh, that will check various conditions. So the first test that it tries is count between A, B, C, D, E, B and D. And it says the goal here is to determine whether the function counts substrings that are lexicographically between B and D or just positionally between B and D. So as you can see in this string A, B, C, D, E, there is a letter B and there is a letter D. And maybe the meaning of count the substrings that uh, of S that lie between A and B, maybe the meaning of that is I will give you this long string and I will give you positions A and B inside there, individual letters, and you have to count how many substrings are between. Maybe that is the intention. Or as ChatGPT is saying, maybe the meaning is we want to find out which substrings of the string S are lexicographically between A and B, and A and B don't have to be individual letters, they could be any kinds of strings. So ChatGPT is focusing on this word between. What does between actually mean? It's an English word in natural language and many words in natural language have multiple meanings depending on the context and we don't know what the intended context is here. So this is a great suggestion. It's saying you should call this function. Notice ChatGPT is not proposing an answer. It's not suggesting that on this function the answer should be something. It's merely saying you should consider doing this.